Too much shorter. <laughs> the, the booking agent said his hair. Oh, there must be some kind of mix-up. Oh, no. If they sent you here, what if they sent the temptations to the wrong place, too? Oh, couldn't do that. Those two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> Ask if where the Partridge family's supposed to be. Say, man, it's supposed to open here tonight, baby. You don't send nobody to Tucson, Arizona, man. That's right, unless they got sinus trouble. Oh, well, at least you jiving, man. Hey, man, later, okay? Much later. Where is the Partridge family supposed to be? Uh, in Tucson, uh, clean up the sinuses. <laughs> they expect us from Tucson. They better tell the opening act to fake it for a few days. Uh, we can't get to Tucson in time. And the Temptations can't get here. Sam, it's not my fault. The booking agent messed everything up. I know it's not your fault, brother. It's just bum luck, that's all. But I can't take it as calm as you, man. I gotta let it out, physically. I'm going in the kitchen, I'm gonna beat up a head of lettuce. Never did anybody any good to beat up on a head of lettuce. Well, I'm not gonna beat it up, but I'm gonna lean on it. Really. I know it's none of my business, but I keep wondering why you want to beat up vegetables. Because that's the only thing I can bruise can't bruise me back. We borrowed money from a guy, and if we don't open tonight, we can't pay him. And if we can't pay him, Monday, the place is his. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, don't mess the lettuce. It's mine. Uh, how are you boys keeping my place clean for me? Friends of yours? No, oh, that's heavy. The man we borrowed money from to go broke. Hey, how would you kids like to uh, go with me and get some ice cream? Great! That's a terrific idea. Let's get some ice cream. Come on. I don't want any ice cream. You should do what's Mr. Kincaid, I said I don't want any ice cream. Mr. Kincaid, I don't want any ice cream. Well, you know, uh, I got a nice place here. It'll fix it up and it'll be real nice. Heavy, this is my place, mine and Sam's. Oh, then you have this week's payment. I have the money on set like I usually have it, man. You know, that's funny. There's a rumor going around that you don't even have a group to open with. Why don't you hear that news so soon? Well, um, your booking agent is my booking. <laughs> anyway, if you don't have any paid customers, how are you going to pay me? Uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about that, Heavy. And I thought maybe me and you could set up a little meeting, right? Uh, say, like, what are you doing two weeks from Wednesday? <laughs> two weeks from Wednesday, I'll be owning this club. As a matter of fact, I'll be owning it this Monday. You can't do that, Heavy, man. James Brown's gonna be in town next week, and we can make up the money that we owe you. Hey, James Brown working for me? Maybe I can get his autograph for my boys. Hey, boys, how would you like James Brown's autograph? <laughs> ruin it by doing business with that that i think the word is loan shark because we needed money i don't get it if you don't have any collateral for a bank what collateral do you have for a loan shark our health <laughs> <laughs> we almost had heavy paid off man another month and a half we could see daylight what difference does it make man it's a monday we're gonna be living in the bus depot to be perfectly honest i I don't understand your problem. That's because you never lived in a bus depot. <laughs> uh, no, I mean it. Look, the reason you can't open tonight is because you don't have a group, right? Yeah, and it's too late to get a name group now. Well, I realize we're no substitute for the Temptations, but it did occur to me that we're not doing anything, and we could be of some help. Oh, well, wait a minute. Shirley, let's not rush into anything. I mean, those are gangsters out there. Well, let's face it, I get a kink in my neck when I fall asleep looking over my shoulder. I think we should do it. Children should be seen and not heard. Oh, I appreciate it, Danny, but uh, it's not that simple, man. We, we, we can't afford you. You see, we started this place out to be a, a community club, a place for our people to go. They don't have much, so we don't charge much. It's the only place they can go and see a named group for practically nothing. Sam and I are the only ones who can't afford this place. <laughs> the groups know what we're trying to do here, so they play just for expenses. Great, we can at least get our expense money back. Well, you see, the thing is, I'm not sure you're the right kind of group for our club. You mean because we're white? No, wow, no. I mean, our people like soul music, right? I just don't know if they turn out. Well, we do have somewhat of a reputation. I think we could bring some people in. At least it'll prevent you from closing down. She's got a point. Then it's settled. 
What about the hoodlums? Don't worry, Mr. Kincaid. I'll protect you. <laughs> I guess the first thing we'd better do is find a place to stay. Good idea. We'll call you when we get settled. We'll be registered as the Singing Smith family. Groups, <laughs> stay with us. We have plenty of room. That's how we save on expenses. They stay here and we call all the middlemen. Well, why don't you go and set up your equipment and we'll bring you things up in a minute. Thanks. Oh, don't forget to change the sign out front. <laughs> no sweat, little girl. We'll change it. Wow, these sure are nice people, eh? You think we have a chance? Yeah, I think we got two chances. Slim and none. Well, how I look? Beautiful, honey. How much longer before we go out? Come in. Hi. Hi there. Wow. You look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's a great tie. Oh, thanks. Guy couldn't guess my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, hmm? do you have the time? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, it's 9.30. Well, what time do you usually start the first show? Around 9.00. Yeah. You better get going. When are you going to let the audience in? Oh, um. Well, we already let the audience in. You have? They're awfully quiet. You really look beautiful. Thank you. You too. <laughs> There's no one out there. I think our audience went to make a phone call, but he'll be back in a minute. He? You mean our entire audience is a he? It's Albert. You'll love him. He's a big fan of yours. 